Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Dark Days, issue number one, the casting. Okay, okay, not a problem, not a problem. Let's uh, see what we can do about this, all right? So we got the Hawks, all right? This is a crazy story. Just sit in tight. The Hawks, uh, that's Hawkman and Hawk Girl, Hawk Woman, excuse me, uh, they call on the Immortals, all right? So uh, these Immortals, one of them is Ra's al Ghul. So just to give you an idea of what should actually be uh, encompassing the term the Immortals, all these red cloaked uh creature uh beings people <laughs> who are immortal hey so you know what i actually wonder if randall savage is there if that's the case interesting just saying okay so anyways there's a, a bit of a retcon here hath set didn't start the uh reincarnation sequence for the the hawks and himself in egypt no no he actually just hid their past that's sick plus later on we come to find out from uh the journals of carter hall that uh, freaking A, man, this guy, uh, he realizes that the ship didn't come down to help them or anything. It came down to stop them, to warn them, to say, hey, listen, the metal and all these things you're going to discover. No, 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 don't do it. So we've got an entire new origin for Hawkman. I'm telling you what right now, if they can figure out a way to put all those origins together and make sense, I will say that this book alone is the greatest, well, not this book, but this series, the the Dark Days, I will say this is the greatest series that's ever come out, the greatest event ever, because Hawkman right now, man, he's he's all over the place and he's scary. As a huge fan of Hawkman, I have no idea how to even begin explaining Hawkman, and there's no way I could do it in a minute. Anyway, so uh, Batman and Wonder Woman are chilling out, they're doing their thing going forward, and trying to kick butt. Um, she's just there to answer a couple questions, but she's wondering how Bruce knows these these questions uh, because j just, yeah, just the idea that he knows the questions to ask, forget about the answers, that's crazy. But she does what she can and she gives, uh, he's actually trying to find Hephaestus so that he can, you know, ask him like, what's going on with this metal that you used and everything? Well, she's got a, uh, a metal um, uh, and when the, it's called the eighth metal. Hephaestus called it the eighth metal. And he made this blade that no one was supposed to know, no mortal was ever supposed to know about called the sun blade. It was originally made for Apollo. And she actually gives it to, um, Batman. Like no mortals ever even supposed to know of its existence, at least to have wield it. So that's a lot of trust. And I love that about Wonder Woman and Batman's relationship. Can these two get back together again, please? Crap. Catwoman's there. I have a feeling that, that there's a, there's a slight chance that Wonder Woman could take Catwoman. I'm not totally sure. I don't know. I, I, I've seen that uh, Injustice 2 being played. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, Batman turns out to be in a Cadmus base at some point, and he takes the, F the eighth medal and trades it with Talia al Ghul um, for the ninth medal, the nth medal, I guess that could be translated to. It's often called that. Uh, not often, but sometimes called that. Anyway, um, this actually has a little bit of the spirit of the wizard Shazam in it. So um, I'm seeing some good things here. <laughs> Plus, we, we haven't actually seen a whole lot of Shazam as of late, and I could use a little bit of Shazam. So we also find out from the Joker that Duke is a meta. Now, apparently everything else that he said is a lie, but we'll see. In the meantime, he is a meta, um, and he's actually finding a way to in his own mind, at least, form light and see patterns and see the way the things are supposed to be. So we don't know what his power actually is just yet. Maybe some kind of omnipresence. That would actually be cool for one of the, the Bat-Robin characters. That would be awesome. But um, anyway, uh, a really cool scene is when Hal gets knocked by the Joker because his ring isn't working too well in the presence of the metal. Uh, Hal actually gets knocked into the bat plane or into the hangar at least and he goes into the bat plane so Hal Jordan using the bat plane as you know a, a test pilot of epic proportions is freaking amazing to me that's just amazing also the Joker is saying that there's a dark crisis coming I told you guys everything's a crisis everything's a crisis so okay dark crisis we get it guys I'm going to give this comic an A this is out of the world, crazy, insane. I have no idea, well, not no idea, but in general, realistically, everything that I'm able to answer, I can still think of 40 more questions. So I have no idea for the most part what's going on in general, but you know what? I like it. Right now, in the beginning of this series, this event, I like it. I like not being able to figure out heads or tails, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling topsy-turvy. I'm good with it, but it won't last for long. So I'll give them a couple more issues before they start actually making some sense, uh, you know, giving me some answers, because that's really what I want. But so far, I am loving this series, guys. 
Oh, yeah. This is something that's going to have to be autographed. Unfortunately, that's a lot of people. We're going to have to autograph this. A lot of people working on it. Anyway, guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.